Hi everybody, it's me, G1 Writer with G1 Insights, and I just wanted to briefly discuss with you astrology during the week of June 14th to about the 21st, okay? That whole entire week is going to be definitely something to look forward to, um, just because there's a lot of different energies floating around, especially in Cancer. We know that the sun is going to go into Cancer June 21st. I mean, yeah, June 21st, right? And then we also have Mercury hanging out in Cancer, which is Gemini's ruling planet. So when we think of Mercury, we know that it's... Uh, usually represents communication. It normally represents like, um, and this can be communication of all sorts, like throughout a relationship, business partnerships, meetings, discussions. So for some signs, this is going to be a very social week for some of you, especially earth signs. This is going to be a very social week, okay? Now, this is where it gets tricky, okay? Because not only is Mercury in Cancer, but then we also have the Sun in Cancer, which for Cancer, this is okay in regards to to their communication because then they may have a bit more clarity, okay? However, with Mars being in Cancer, there's going to be some type of, um, and this is not for everybody, but it's going to be for the majority of us, okay? Um, the energy is going to be very, like, I wouldn't say scattered, but it's going to be very um, aggressive for some people, or it may even be a time where a lot of us may seem extra vulnerable for some odd reason. So if you have cancer in your birth chart as a sun, moon, or rising, this may and it may not affect you depending on your sun sign, okay? Um, also, this week, with all the energies floating around in cancer, Remind you, we are still going to be dealing with some of that full moon in Sagittarius energy. So there's a lot happening. You know, there's a lot happening when it comes to our attitudes and how we look at things. So, for instance, let me give you guys an example. So someone may say something to you. Um, I would just recommend that you try not to get too emotional about it. Because when we think of cancer energy, it's very... Um, Cancers like to dwell on the past a lot. Like they they are constantly thinking about what used to happen, who used to hurt them, who betrayed them. And when you're dealing with that type of energy, it's hard, you know. And so long story short, while Mars is being in Cancer, that is not good. Mars is an action planet. It likes to move forward, is, you know, very straightforward, very aggressive. Cancer is very... Um, timid, very shy, very soft-spoken, very, um, you know, could even sometimes be very nurturing, right, energy. And so when you have Mars inside of a, a sign like Cancer, it's kind of like that tug-of-war feeling, like that pull-push energy. So be careful not to hurt someone's feelings. And also, guys, be careful that you are not taking things so literal, okay? This is probably going to be the one of those times where you may just want to just laugh something off. Like, if you recognize that someone's being kind of flaky with you or if they say something out of pocket that they shouldn't say, try your best not to get so frustrated. So, the signs that may be affected, okay, I'm just going to give it to you guys straight. Fire signs, they may be affected. Just because fire signs are naturally explosive, and if you say the wrong thing, you're most likely bound to just get cursed out, okay? Um, so, fire signs, try your best to dance it off, play some music, ignore the stupidity, try your best really not to allow these energies to affect you, especially you, Aries, because Mars is your ruling planet. So, being in Cancer, that may cause some friction for you, okay? Also, the other signs that may be affected are signs like... Um, I was going to say earth signs, okay, um, but not all earth signs in particular, but maybe even Taurus and maybe Capricorn. The reason why is because, for one, Taurus never forgets anything, and if someone brings something up, Taurus will definitely um, kind of be the one to put you in your place and be very stubborn about it. And that may cause some problems for you Taurus people out there, especially if you have Taurus as a sun, moon, and rising sign. Just be cautious about how you approach people or how they are approaching you. If you feel like it's getting too hectic or it's becoming too much of um, a lot of tension or a lot of arguing, or if you feel like it may happen, then it's best probably not to say anything. This is one of the moments where it's better to just kind of... 
keep quiet and not say much at all, okay? Um, and for you guys, Capricorn, okay, Cancer is your opposite sign, okay? So around going more deeper into June, around the, um, between the 18th and the 21st, that may be one of those weekends where it may be kind of tricky for you, but also around the 14th or 15th, um, there may be something that you may have to deal with, okay? Um, and it may be like a, a small or minor argument, but it, I feel like someone may get a bit sensitive or emotional about a particular topic, um, and they're expecting this particular reaction out of you, Capricorn. And so because you already know this, you know ahead of time, thankfully, right, that you know how to compose yourself in a situation, okay? You know to just laugh it off, have a good time, not to allow it to bother you. If you begin to have thoughts or dreams or begin to reminisce about something that has happened in the past, guys, okay, this is for all of us, okay? If we begin to have dreams and thoughts or about things that happened in the past and it's beginning to bother us or to hurt us, just remember that this moment will pass, okay? It's not going to stay like this forever. But Mars do go into Cancer about every two years. And when it happens, unfortunately, guys, we have to deal with the energy. But as long as you know ahead of time, you guys should be fine. Just promise me. Play some music. Do something creative. Because while Cancer uh, like to reminisce a lot and they like to say stuff in the past a lot, they can also be very nurturing and very creative. So if you do have cancer in your birth chart somehow, or if you are a Capricorn or a fire sign, okay, or a Taurus, then trust me, you want to make sure that you are tapping into your creativity that week. And again, for all of you Sagittarius's, again, all, a lot of you fire signs are naturally explosive. You have explosive energy. So Again, try not to get annoyed so fast. Try not to allow nobody to get under your skin. And if you feel like it's getting to that point, then just simply walk away, okay? I know it sounds easier than said than done, okay? I know it does, but trust me, this is one of those weeks where you just want to let it go. Because cancer energy doesn't let nothing go, okay? It can be very um, stubborn and dominating and very, like, uh, egotistical, okay? Um, cancer energy is also, excuse me, is also very sensitive and it like to dwell on issues. So remember those key points that I've discussed. And as we get closer, hopefully I will be able to update you guys on some more additional energy that we could be dealing with. But for what I know for right now, I mean, if you don't have Sagittarius in your birth chart anywhere, then it may not affect you too much. If you don't have cancer in your birth chart at all or not that much, it may not affect you, okay? And as far as air signs, the only ones that probably would be affected with air signs are Gemini. And that's just because we're leaving all of your energy and we're going into cancer. So try not to be so... Um, talkative, okay? Try not to be so talkative or dwell in gossip that week, okay? And you, Capricorn, try your best not to, um, I just had a thought and it came and went. <laughs> It'll come back when it's ready. So just remember not to stay stuck on a situation for too long, okay? So guys, I love you and I thank you for watching this video. Please let me know what you think and how you feel about it. And what do you think about this energy? And what are some things that you may be doing this week to kind of help you get through the next week or two, okay? Love you. Bye.